Hello and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we shall be simulating the infrared effect on this image. Now infrared, uh, we cannot see infrared with our own eyes, but infrared film uh, is able to ca capture this uh, spectrum of light. Now we're going to simulate this, we're not actually going to create exactly the same effect, but we're going to create a, a simulation of that effect. So first things first, to make sure our screens are the same, hit Window, Workspace, Essentials. And next step is obviously to find a, a suitable picture. Now pictures that work particularly well for this effect have good greens and uh, blue skies often work well too. So if you've got an image with clouds, then this can be used to enhance uh, the look of your picture. So we're uh, working with this, uh, this landscape picture here. Uh, very simple, there's only uh, one step to take really and that is to add a channel mixer adjustment layer. Now, first thing in this section is to click monochrome make our image black and white and then we're going to use the, the sliding bars here to add our effect. So red is going to go up to 100 and green is also going to go up to plus 100 and finally blue is going to go down by 100. Now already we have quite a strong infrared effect here we have the greens glowing and the, the clouds are already uh, more striking. Uh, you can tweak the contrast to put it down and lift it up just to try and main, maintain a good quality image but at the same time you want to uh, get an image which has excellent tonal values. Okay, so I'm just going to lower it just a little bit Feel free to tweak the colour sliders as well, just to try and obtain a good effect. Okay, that should do it. And there we have it. So, there's your infrared effect. If you would like to uh, look at more uh, infrared effects, I recommend checking out Wikipedia for a little background re research. Uh, but thank you very much for taking part of this tutorial. Enjoy!